And now let the words of my mouth and the meditation of our hearts be always acceptable to you. O Lord, our strength and our Redeemer. Amen. Please be seated. I was glad when they said to me, let us go to the house of the Lord. In reading aloud the section from John the other day to a friend, their quick quick response resounded, what a great deal that would be for an Airbnb. Airbnb, of course, is now another alternative to hotels for those who travel. They are individuals' homes, sublet at a more, at most times, more affordable rates than other hotels would be with more amenities than a hotel, having things like a kitchen or a dining room similar to what you may have that makes a house a home and more cozy. In my father's house, there are many dwelling places. I could imagine that listing for this Airbnb. Various rooms, all different, with different comforts waiting for you. If you can imagine that, now I want you to take it a step further. And imagine that each of these rooms have specific and personal delights that are special to you and to you alone. In addition, this host will do whatever they can to ensure that you have what you need and even pick you up and take you to these rooms that have been prepared just for you. If that doesn't blow your mind, remember different versions of this passage will indicate instead of rooms, it says, in my father's house are many mansions. All of this customized, bespoke, and prepared for you. How much do you think that's going to cost? Fortunately for you, that price has been paid. Alleluia, Christ is risen. Christ's resurrection from death gives us more than just an excuse to say, Alleluia. In the promise of eternal life, death has been trampled, and its sting is no more. It's sufficient to understand why this pericope not only represents resurrection, but is used for a celebration of life. What we know of as a funeral mass is actually an Easter liturgy, no matter what day of the year it's done. And this passage in particular helps us to keep in mind when things may not work out in our lives or when we experience loss as it extols Do not let your hearts be troubled. All this is possible through God, who made the heavens and the earth. Isaiah tells us that God has the stamina to do these things and more. Hence, God empowers us, strengthens us, and helps us to remember we don't have to sell ourselves short with God. God loves us so much that God will accept us as we are. It is, however, up to us to be able to take care of ourselves as best we can. 
The Lord will wait for those who renew their strength to mount them up like eagles' wings and not be weary. I was glad when they said to me, Let us go to the house of the Lord. Considering all that awaits us and the sacrifice made on our behalf, Jesus assures us we will have what we need and more. So pray for the peace of Jerusalem and look to get right with God. Because Jesus is waiting and because what is here and what will be waiting is no more, no less, but much greater than a mere bed and breakfast. It's life everlasting. Amen.